Yes, welcome again to the KCTV. Susan Kihika, the governor of Nakuru County, on X, gave this statement. Okay, good people, I'm sitting here wondering what Kenyans really want. You don't want the president, that's what she said. Public reaction. Many Kenyans have reacted to the post with over 3,000 comments in which they gave their perspective on the issue. A recurring theme in the feedback was the public's demands for transparency in PPP agreements. Many respondents highlighted the need for accountability in the bidding and procurement process. This is what Susan Kihika said, I'll quote, Transparency in PPPs must include why pursue PPPs, the bidding process, procurement, contract information, and uh, benchmarking. That's one of the commenters. The sentiment was echoed by others who called for clear communications on how funds are allocated and who stands to benefit from these partnerships. Welcome again. Before I continue giving you the latest update, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell for the last or for the first time if you are joining our channel. This is Susan Kihika who has taken to defend her. Right Honorable uh, William Samuel Raputo, uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya, who for a very long time has been facing criticism. The latest issue that has caused public attention is the femicide events which are happening in the country, with uh, over uh, 39 women killed in the, in the past three months. Governor Kihika also defended PPPs as a responsible solution to Kenya's debt constraints. Echoing President Ruto's stance, she argued that PPPs could provide the necessary resources without adding debt. As Kenya balances ambitious development goals with a limited budget, the PPP model has already enabled high-profile projects like the Menengai Geothermal Power Plant, which recently attracted 12 billion in private shillings, Kenyan shillings investment. In drawing comparison with the international PPP succession, our successes, such as a JFK airport, we are also awaiting to see what statement will be given by the other governors because for a very long time some of them have rejected these PPPs, which is being defended by William Samuel Pluto. Susan Kihika, one of the very few old ladies who one of the gubernatorial seats in the first election in 2020 has now said that she is very ready to work closely with Pluto and his government. His administration has also faced scrutiny due to the rising cost of living, and many expect the president to provide insights into the government's plan to stabilize the economy. The president is also expected to discuss the security situation, especially in light of the rising cases of femicide and abductions that have dominated headlines. The Zia states of the nation address was done by William Samara Pluto weeks after swearing in new deputy president Kidure Kindiki, which may signal the administration's renewed focus on governance. 